New at 9, our back-to-school covered school resource officers from across the state are training in Bartlesville ahead of the new school year. Instructors from the National Association of School Resource Officers are teaching this class. Fox 23's Alex Cash is live with what she learned about this. The instructors say school resource officers are more important now than ever as children deal with the aftermath of COVID. They say that officers are important for safety in schools, but also to be role models for children. These school resource officers are already back in school, but they're the ones learning. We cover topics like digital media, we, we cover commercial sex trafficking, we cover uh, adolescent mental health. Bartlesville Police and Bartlesville Public Schools are hosting the training. There's 17 law enforcement agencies from four different states in this class of 37 school resource officers. Sergeant Ben Hollander from Bartlesville Police is one of them. This uh, training allows us to become better prepared to interact with the students and know some of the difficulties that they may be uh, facing as well as how to handle different problems that come up uh, throughout the year. The lead instructor is Brandon Hendricks. He's also a sergeant with the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office and has been a school resource officer for 20 years. There's a myth around the country that a school resource officer is placed in the school to arrest children and take them to jail and that is not what we do. We facilitate relationships with kids, we act as counselors, mentors. He says teaching SROs how to stop an active shooter and school security is top priority. We really try to tap on the deeper issues on forming relationships with the kids so we can find out about those shootings, those acts of violence before they occur and prevent them because nobody wants an act of violence. But if we can prevent that young attacker from going down that, that violent path, then we have a better chance of making them productive members of our community. Hendricks says in the class they're learning about a variety of issues including vaping, drugs, mental health and how to deal with social media and bullying. He also says being an SRO is also about being a mentor and a role model too. The number one mitigating factor in a young person's life that, that is predisposed to maybe acts of violence or, or just having a, a bad life, the number one mitigating factor is a positive role model in their life. And we want to put the SRO in the school so they can be that positive role model in the student's life. The training is happening all week. The officers have 40 hours of classes and they have a pre and post test too. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.